That's right, this channel could have been terminated if I had all of the copyright strike three back to back to back, but that's not the case. I'm here to talk to you guys about the most recent copyright strike that I received about two weeks ago for Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. Fantastic anime, but unfortunately, this is the nature of YouTube anime reactions. I know that I'm playing with fire. I'm not here to complain. I'm just here to tell you guys, share a little bit of news. So we got one copyright strike done, and basically what you do here is counter appeal state why your content is transformative and i basically say bro have you seen my video i pause every five seconds and yap i make this shit so transformative i take a 20 minute video and take it into a fucking 45 minute video and basically i tell them that every time and then what happens bada bing bada boom after 10 business days in accordance with the digital millennium copyright act as in dmca we've completed processing your counter notification the following videos have been restored unless you deleted them, and unfortunately, I had to delete it. And here's why. People can abuse the copyright system like this. There's a lot of, you know, companies that has these, you know, record label deals or random, you know, um, entitlements to a song, and they can abuse the YouTube system and basically strike. So even if my content is, you know, transformative, even if I can pass it, they will then just send another one. That's why whenever we get a copyright strike, I delete every fucking video. It is what it is. This has happened with Jellyfish. This has happened with Ragnar Crimson before, and this has happened with Akiba Made War. These are the three copyright strikes that I've received on this channel throughout my year and a half, you know, journey on YouTube, which is, I don't know how many other, I, I don't know the frequency of copyright strikes on YouTube come for other anime reactors too. I know that this just happens from time to time. And if there's any, you know, reactor, if anyone kind of wants to know about this, you should always, assuming that your content is transformative, assuming that, you know, Here's the reason why a lot of the YouTube content on YouTube. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about YouTube content reactions, YouTube anime reactions and why it's edited like this. We have a visual overlay and the content is cut such that we can include the audio, we can include the visuals and bypass the immediate copyright claim bot. A claim is different from a strike. When you try to upload a video, a bot will parse your video and make sure that the content ID doesn't match. And how does it not match? By having these cuts. That's how we do it. By doing so, we then have grounds to appeal for transformative content say that hey i think that this is fair use this is transformative it is not the same as the original source material therefore i have grounds to counter against that if you do anime reactions where it's just a full video like i used to do in that back in my old channel there's not really much place to kind of fight against it because one of the most important things in fair use or, con or transformative content is you only use as the, the original source material as necessary. It's very vague, but what that basically means is don't use the full footage. And if you're, you know, doing anime reactions using the full footage, it's a little bit harder to kind of counter against that. So again, this is why a lot of anime reactors, of course, the Patreon, you know, incentive to pay gate the full reaction there, it's there. But this is kind of born because of the rules that YouTube set in. And unfortunately, you know, Jellyfish, I already dropped the show, right? I'm sure you guys have noticed that I already dropped the show. I'm going to talk about, you know, why, you know, YouTubers kind of like drop shows and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, uh, YouTube anime reactions, it's supposed to, you're supposed to make videos for your audience. And if your audience doesn't care about it, um, the video performs bad and it sends like bad signals to the YouTube algorithm. And what that does is the more bad videos you make, the more bad signals YouTube algorithm gets, the less that it's willing to experiment with your videos and push it out to a wider audience. You'll notice that some reaction channels will have a strategy will that combine one, two, or three episodes in one for poor performing videos and release it on YouTube. And the idea is basically limiting the amount of L's you're taking. Instead of three L's on three bad videos, you're taking one L on three episodes per one video. It is what it is. I know it sucks. I only try to make content that you guys want to watch. But remember, whenever we drop this, it just means that it's a new slot for us to watch other anime. We could be watching another episode of SAO. We could be watching another episode of Charlotte, right? It sucks for, you know, people that's wanting, you know, salad bowl anime, you know, Spice and Wolf. Unnamed memories today we had to drop. Jellyfish, right? And the, the fucking Yuri anime too, but... That's the name of the game, and I'm just trying to play the game as best as I can. Hope you understand.